Good morning, this is Dina Edwards with Archer Point. Today we're going to review the close year process. First, we need to make sure that the accounting periods are closed. We're going to close the accounting period ending 12-31-11. And you can see that the accounting periods are now closed and locked. This is also a good time to create a new year if you have not already done so. You can do that by just clicking on Create Year. Click OK. And we've now created another accounting period for the Next, we'll close the income statement. The system will default the fiscal year ending date to the last closed period. You can select the general journal template here and the general journal batch. You will also need to enter a document number and select the retaining the retained earnings account. Click OK. Uh, I'm going to change the the year here in the posting description. Click OK. Click OK when the journal lines have been created and let's go look at that batch. There, there are our entries, and let's post these. And you're through with the closed year process. If you have adjustments to do later, you can close the year as many times as you like. Thank you.